Hello everyone. Um, so my name is Logan Killian. I am a student at Beacon College in Florida um, and I am part of the Beacon Squad. So what the Beacon Squad is about is um, we've always called ourselves the Squad. The Beacon Squad is something new, but um, we <laughs> we're dumb. Um, we're morons and we're absolutely idiotic and we just basically run. Oh my god. I need a haircut so bad. Like y'all don't even know. I haven't gotten a haircut in God almost seven months. Um I actually think it's been over seven months. I don't know. Um here comes the child. Hi, child. Come here, child. The child had to say hello. Hi, child. Hi. Sorry for that audio. Any comments? Is that all? Is that all? Really? Is that so? Okay, I think that's all. That's gonna be all from that child. Come on. Oh. Well, he lost the wind thing. I am so sorry about this audio. It must be horrendous. Why am I apologizing? Because I'm probably just going to edit it out anyway. Um, anyways, so... We have a lot of different things planned for this channel, although probably none of them are actually... Okay. Are actually going to work out. Sorry, I'm like backwards in the camera. Um, so it's kind of driving me crazy. Um... So we have a lot of things planned, but are any of them going to work out? No, probably not. <laughs> um, but anyways, to the point of today's video, I wanted to talk about the equipment we use. So we actually use a hell of a lot of equipment. Um, <laughs> Logan's been ordering some stuff off Amazon. He probably shouldn't. Um, let's see, I've ordered. Let me log on to Amazon. So far, I've successfully ordered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different things, which include the backdrop, the green screen, um, the microphones, um, a ring light. Um, that's not set up right now. We're using it for my cat, um, which will be a whole other thing. Um, the backdrop stand, um, the lights. Um, Where are we keeping her? Where's she at? Oh! Ugh. God! I can't like pull too hard! Oh god. Um. The uh, splitter cable. Um. The bags of microphones. Um, the microphones come in bags of two and they're really actually nice. I love them. They come in these little bags. Um, and then I have two more smaller green screens coming for the sides and, um, two more green screen stands, two more show lights, another ring light. I have a lot. So first thing I want to talk about is the microphones. The microphones are sold by the company called Solid. Um, I love them. I think they're great. They come in these little pouches, um, and in each pouch you get five things. You get two microphones, and the microphones extend about five feet, I think. Maybe less than that. Um,
Oh, okay, here we go. Um, 59 inch cable. So the microphones are 4.9 feet, and then the cables that come with them, because each one gets a little extension cable, are, um, one second, are 6.5 feet long, so you're getting roughly 11 and a half feet of wiggle room. Um, and the cables are nice. Um, they're not like cheap. I mean, I wouldn't say they're, you know, like, oh my God, these are the most professional things ever, but they're not super cheap quality. Um, I've enjoyed using them. Um, I haven't used them very often because I'm not really going to be using them until September when I go back to film the podcast down in Florida, um, where I go to college. But, well, assuming <laughs> Myth Corona doesn't cancel it. Fucking bitch. I love how I'm, like, talking about her as if she's, like, a person. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Um, so it comes with two of those. Um, it comes with a splitter cable, so you can plug in. Um, it comes with two female ends and a male end, so you can make two microphones into one source. Um, I've liked them. I'm not going to complain about them. They have served me well. I enjoy them. Good quality. Really nice sound. Um, they can be a little pitchy at times, but you just got to be careful the way you're talking. Um, as far as my backdrop, um, this is a microfiber backdrop. It's sold by Kate's Backdrops. Um, they're made in 5x7, 6.5x10 foot, 10 foot by 10 foot, and 10 foot by 20 foot. They come in white, green, and black off of Amazon, but you can order them straight from Kate, although they are very expensive. $400. Um, they're very expensive, um, but you can order them straight from Kate if you'd like. Um, and she has other backgrounds such as like wood paneling, flowers, um, all sorts of other things. I mean, it really just, it depends. Um, but I, I recommend, I mean, I've used it for green screen technology and so far I can't complain except for the wrinkles, but I mean, that's just kind of a kink I have to iron out. So I think, um, the green screen stand that I use comes with these little weight bags and I'm going to like, well, you can hear some of the rice that's in them. I'm going to put rice in them. And I think, you done? Good. I'm glad. I think once I put the rice in them, it'll be really um, nice. I think it'll be very good, enjoyable, easy to use. Um, sorry, I'm closing some things that should not be open. Go away. Fuck you. Um, I mean, they say they can hold up to about five pounds. So, you know, um, the green screen stand is from Emart. Very, very, very flimsy. Would not recommend for professional use. Um, for like, I'd recommend for a YouTuber, even a professional YouTuber. I'd recommend for a prom photo shoot. I'd recommend for really, that's it. I mean, if you're like a full-time photographer, don't use this stand. It is cheap as fuck. Um, it was like 30, 40 bucks maybe. Um, and it's so flimsy. It's a pain in the ass to set up by yourself. Um, the screws get lost very easily. There's little caps for the screws that are very easy to lose and very annoying. Um, so I would not recommend for professional use. Um, as far as my lights, I have two shadow box lights. Shadow box, I always call them shadow box, they're soft box. Um, two soft box lights. They are from LWGD, whatever company that is. Um, one second, I'm just gonna pull them up. They have good light. They're relatively cheap. I got two of them for 50 bucks, so I'm not going to complain about that. Um, you know, Amazon prices are always fluctuating, but um, I got two for 10 bucks, so I'm happy. Um, 10 bucks, 50 bucks, uh, 52 really. Uh, free shipping because it was over $25. So that was nice. Um, pretty easy to set up, pretty standard. You just, they come kind of folded up and there's a little thing almost like an umbrella and you just shove it in and lock it in place. And that keeps it open, screw the light bulb in. Uh, but
I hope you all heard that. Um, put the little softbox diffuser over it, velcro it in place, and bam, you're done. Um, really simple. They come with a little holder. If I could find it, that would be nice. It's like on the floor and I'm too lazy to get up, plus I'm plugged into this microphone. Um, they're really standard, easy to use. Um, I would, see, the stand looks the same as the tripod stands for the green screen, but they seem sturdier. I don't know why that is, but I'm just gonna go with it. Um, not gonna complain, high quality. I like them, I enjoy them. Um, I mean, they keep me pretty well lit. You can see all the grease in my hair because I never shower because I'm fucking disgusting. Um, so yeah, um, and then as far as filming goes, right now I'm using a Mac. Um, the quality is okay. Um, it's about as good as it's gonna get. I think it's pretty good quality considering um, it's about two and a half years old, so it's from 2017. Um, so I guess it's like three years old now, huh? Well, I got it around Christmas 2017, so it's about two years old. Two and a half. Um, and then um, I use just a standard Mac wireless keyboard, and then I use a Logitech mouse. Um, the mouse, can't complain. Keyboard, can't complain. Um, they're really good. The Mac is amazing. Um, it'd be better if it wasn't in my horrendous Wi-Fi, but you know. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the equipment I use. Um, I'm really excited for the rest of the equipment to come in. I'm really excited to continue to produce and create this and bring to life this kind of podcast for you guys. Um, so if you have any other questions, I'm going to be doing a whole behind the scenes series of what we do, how we set up the equipment, how the equipment works, how we put the equipment away, how we store the equipment, you know, how we clean the equipment, how we maintain the equipment, how we check the equipment. Um, cause I know everyone says, well, it's just you turn on the camera and you film. Mm -mm. No, 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 sweetie. It's a lot more than that. And it can be a fucking pain in the ass. Um, but I enjoy, I have a great time making these videos. It really brings me joy to see all of... Sorry, it's literally 6.09 in the morning. Um, I enjoy this and um, I, I can't complain personally. So... Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. Although no one's going to do it because I'm fucking ugly. Why would you subscribe to me? <laughs> um, but, you know, it's a thought. <laughs> um, so that's going to be all for today. If you guys have any other content you'd like to see, please let me know. If you'd like a more in-depth review than just a talking review, I'm happy to do that too. I think we're going to do that more when we actually do the actual podcast back in um, Florida. So I'm more than happy to do that. Just let me know. Mm -hmm.